So um, we're coming up into the um, the front or possibly the back, which we can't. The east side. The east side. Um, we see that the, there's um, the date 1912 uh, over the entrance. And um, I guess uh, all Tyndall stone uh, for the white. Certainly Tyndall, full of fossils. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, and I'm told that the columns are tapered. Yes, I, I think that's... Uh, so that they'll look straight. Right, yeah. Pigeons roosted on it, and, and they used to make a dreadful mess of the steps going in and out both sides. So how did they stop them? Well, they tried uh, rubber snakes on the uh, uh, window sills, and that worked a while, but until they uh, worked for a while. They figured out uh, that Until they the pigeons moving. got used to it. <laughs> then they tried wooden owls, and that worked for a while. And then physical plant made up a bunch of metal plates with with uh, large nails sticking up out of them. Put them on top of all the flats, and the uh, pigeons used those for studs for their uh, nests. So they solved it by uh, getting peregrine falcons on the top of uh, Mary Speechley. Ah, and that keeps them away. That solved the problem. Excellent. Yeah. That was very smart. Uh, okay. This building has often been called a staircase entirely surrounded by brick huh. because inside there's a very space wasteful but rather beautiful uh, staircase. Now somebody told me that that staircase is actually unique. I don't know if you've heard anything Wouldn't about surprised. that. Wouldn't be surprised. I think it's the most flexible building on the university campus because at one time the entire school of nursing was here. Really? The school of commerce was here. Wow. Now we're now standing at the uh, other entrance, and this is the one facing west. Yes. And we're uh, so my understanding is is that the uh, road used to come up here. The main entrance of the university came from Pembina Highway straight up to the front of this building. Okay. Uh, it was the Avenue of Elms because uh, in the 20s the students, I think it was in home economics, uh, planted a tree, an elm tree, for each member of the agricultural college that was killed in the war, I think. Ah. I don't think it was through. And two of them are right here. You can see them. These are the last two. Elms. Further east. Right. Some of them have disappeared. The bus loop used to come in through here uh -huh. and loop around where University Center building is now. 